So it's week three of the misery build and uh, we're still uncovering awfulness because uh, it's quite clear that there is a serious, serious cooling issue. If we just look at... Uh, uh, James isn't suspicious of the water pump, but we need to have a look because I uh, we're not using that radiator. Let's just get that out of the way. Inside the block, not friendly looking. Those are not friends. Point of first contact is the water pump. technique. That's all I needed to do. I wanted this bolt to line up with the hole. Oh, makes sense. So what does that mean? It means I try harder. James has now put it in reverse to hopefully stop the engine from turning so we get the bolt out. With the engine in gear, it will be spinning the wheels. So this is James's solution to stopping the engine from turning. <coughs> oh, that one spat out. This was meant to be just something quick and fun. Like, let's it just was. have a look at the water pump. And um, now we're actually uncovering a, a serious issue. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is free old cars, people. And so, like, you know, we got a, a hoist. There's a James. Like, all the equipment you could ever want. And um, this is nightmarish at the moment. This is this has ground this to a complete halt because we. This is the the main pulley, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, on the crankshaft. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is this is an issue. Turns out with research, there is like a slot that you're meant to put something in to stop it from turning. <laughs> at least we didn't try for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, it's moving. <gasps> Just moved a tiny bit. The manual just says, remove the pulley. <laughs> Surely she's rattle gun ball now. I think so. It's undone. Yeah. That was nuts. There's just not really enough room to get it out anyway. <laughs> the hole's not big enough to get the bolt out through it, just to undo it. Uh, so James just told me, um, a lot of the struggles right now is the fact that it has air conditioning you know that awesome air conditioning that was fitted like aftermarket, after the fact, like by the amazing owner? Well, that's restricting everything right now. Mm, that's what this is for, it's just for the air condi conditioning, the mm. extra piece here. Don't tell me they dropped the engine to fit the air con. No, there's bolts bolting that in. I just don't know if I've got a tool to access them. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at it in there sideways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bottom hose is still attached. Oh. I'll just keep holding this. Oh, I can't wait for the sludge and hate inside of this coolant pipe. This is actually something to see. Too crunchy. Uh, yeah. But it crunches when I squeeze it. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, can, we, can we get the burn back? It's not sliding off. It's not sliding off. Uh, and those of you who aren't car people, the crank pulley, this is basically the one that drives all the belts. This is attached straight to the crank, straight to the pistons, and uh, it's being bitey. This is why the pistons keep turning as James plays with it. Oh, she blows. This is the crux of a lot of issues here, is the gunk living in every bit of coolant passage. Like, this has kind of ground all this to a halt at the moment. James reckons there's gonna be no fans left on, on the, the uh, what's it called, the impeller bit? Yeah. Yeah, James thinks there's gonna be nothing on there. This looks replaced. I mean, it doesn't mean it's not junk, but like, look at the color versus the block. That is, that's been changed, I reckon. It's been released. Still got a plate on the back, so we can't see. Oh, there's, there's gray sludge in there. <laughs> we gotta get that plate off, man. We, we gotta mm. have a look. Ew, ew. <laughs> 
Mmm, they've yeah. still, got, still got the impellers. Mmm. Well, that's okay. Well, I mean, we could reuse this, right? Yeah, I think we will. Yeah. Huh. It's just gross. I can, you can, so to, you, you need to feel if there's resistance on the seal. If it just spins, it's going to leak. Mmm. But there's a rubber seal in there and then, and that, you can't just spin it. So it's, it's good. It's fine. So this is the week that I've kind of been dreading, which is like, even though we had, had so many things lined up, you know, the head was taken off ages ago and like finding of things. Uh, this is where stuff just didn't really line up at all. And then like, you know, getting that out being the absolute nightmare that was, that was a few hours there. Of, and had, had to run off and go get new tools to do it as well. Like, and that's with a hoist and a James. This is where it stops this week. Come and have a look at some of the new bits. So like, here's the look of the head, how it looked when we when I had it pulled off. And um, here's how it looks now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is the same guy. This is how it's meant to look. Whenever you see old car parts, they were very shiny. It's like, oh, the Daihatsu in there. Oh, amazing. But apparently uh, the water jackets were really messed up and apparently they had to weld some of it back together. Yeah, I haven't found it yet. No. Well, wherever they welded it, they did a stinking excellent job because <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not like they told us that it. they had to weld a little bit of it. Um, and crazy enough, uh, it turns out the cam and lifters, dead gone and amazingly they had one spare <laughs> they had a spare and like they were going to throw it out we got in just in the nick of time this car is a freak and on its way out basically it's a beauty it's yeah. so good so when people think of worn out car parts they imagine like pieces hanging off of it and all stripped and all that no way like even the mankiest car is like a precision piece of engineering and this is worn out see those scratches gone that that you'd call that messed up wouldn't you james yeah it's not great yeah like that's bad and because yeah these are hardened they basically have a hard crust on the outside as soon as you wear through that she's a goner mate look at the bump stick <laughs> yeah i mean it would still run and you wouldn't even know honestly like for the most part you wouldn't really know it'd start getting real rattly all these circles are in here not supposed to be here either yeah so lucky they had a spare. Yeah. So lucky. Uh, in other words, this car is far worse than we thought. Um, <laughs> and James was told that it was oil starvation in the top that caused it. Mm -hmm. Which um, we don't really trust the bottom end anymore. The pistons, all that. We're still going to run it as is. But, you know, the day it explodes, well, here's the warning. Yeah. <laughs> Huge issue. Here's the intake with the carb on it. So there's a carb kit here, whatever. But look at this intake with all, like, the, the dog dirt through it, basically. Like, that just looks straight up like poo, and um, it's full of it, and so it needs complete cleaning out before you could put anything in. That will block up radiators absolutely instantly. So, mate, we had to buy new tools. Still under assembly, though. It's a sandblaster. I've got a really cheap Chinese-made one, and I'm here to tell you, don't do it. <laughs> Spend the extra money. Get a good one. Uh, the instructions are BS, it doesn't go together properly, it's like missing basic fittings. Yay! This all needs to be set up so we can sandblast all the bits and all that. Yeah, this car's worse, it's worse than I thought. But one amazing thing James found is, going through all the, the rego receipts and all that of the old car, um, I mean, we had to keep a lot of it out of it just for privacy reasons, had a lot of private information on it. But it turns out that James recognized one of the people in the receipt He's in his 70s today. He sold this car. Like, he sold the Daihatsu and he still has all these bits, like new old stock headlights and things. Like, absolute score from James. Like, he's like, I know that man, I've worked with him. So earlier you saw all these extra spares and bits. Well, this came from the same crew of people who basically sold this very car. They fitted the air conditioning. They fitted it. And I mean, the story is still going. Call that dealership support, mate. Wow. And uh, that's it. That's what's hard about doing weekly car videos and why for the most part, I never have. Is because you get weeks like this where you're just waiting on parts. You're waiting if you can even get the parts. You've got to fix stuff yourself. And then you, you can't get bits out of it. But we are the official owners of this very, very cheap... <laughs> My favorite bit is, like James pointed out in the box, look, I didn't even spell cabinet right. It's a cabiant. That's why it's not that good. We needed, we needed a cabinet, not a cabiant. This idiot's gonna be put to use many, many times. Yay. Now I have to get all the sand back out.
Lots of people left comments about the, the flash drive with all the stuff on it. And then James freaked out because this is totally his bag. And he totally has like a full-size dance machine and everything hiding in his thing. And so this is James's now. That's, that's a year's payment, right? Uh, all right. No, it's all fine. All right. let, let, and look, James is actually going to play what's actually on the card. Yeah, so here's Max of Max that you were saying. Oh, oh, oh. look at this keyboard James is rocking. Yeah, well, I don't have a num numpad on there. Look at this score. Until James has done this one before. Only once. The treasures you can find in your nuggets. And that's it. That's, that's the end of the, the video. I'm going to play more though. <laughs>